Okay, so my name is Jeffrey DeGraff Tensen. I'm a product designer, and this is my sports life. Okay, so first question. What inspired you to pursue your career in design? What inspired me? I think it's the process. I fell in love with the process, right? It's where I see brands, businesses, they put stuff out there and how they go about their whole branding thing. I think that's one thing that inspired me and also my love for tech, right? So I think that was one of the main reasons why I pursued electrical engineering in the first place because of the fact that I could work on like inventions, electrical stuff, electronics you get. But then later on when I realized I could do design that can also impact the tech industry. I think that was one thing that motivated me to pursue a career there. Hi, engineer. Okay. <laughs> What's your ultimate career goal in design and how do you plan to achieve it? <clears throat> ultimate career? Okay. Um, I think one is to lead teams, okay? So build products from scratch and also to consult and speak at events. Yeah, basically share my knowledge. I think, yeah, that's my ultimate. So, um, what are some hobbies you have outside design? Hobbies? Uh, me, I'm a gamer, so yes. <laughs> I do play games like um, PlayStation, so FIFA, anything game. I did, and also music. I'm, I'm a, what is it, retired rapper. I'm singing leggy, leggy music as a, oh, melelam, oh, melelam, oh, melelam, oh, melelam, that is leggy music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you balance your personal life and career in design? You, dear, you know, say. Eh, the balance they, they need. So, I always set boundaries, like we always say. So if I know for a fact that this is the time period I'll be working in, this time I'll use it for my personal stuff. And now I've done it in such a way that my weekends is like exclusive, just for me. So whatever I choose to do with it, it's based on my decision, not someone's decision. So yeah, I mean, right now, I've, I think I've gotten like a hack for it where I know how to like balance stuff. Beautiful. So what's the most interesting project Welcome. Interesting project. I think I'm still on it. It's this um, for medical students. So I think the reason why it's interesting is because one, me, I know be medical students, me, I be engineer. So the fact that I have to understand their terms, how they do their stuff. I wasn't part of the initial stages when they were doing the research. So I had to learn some of the way they do their stuff. And now incorporating that in the design, I think that's one thing that's like um, interesting about the project. The fact that I'm learning something that's outside my field. So yeah. So what's the most challenging project you've worked on so far and how do you overcome it? Challenging. Uh, challenging, challenging. <laughs> so it not be projects per se. So the challenging part about the project was the fact that I was working with the client. The client was a very difficult person. So, <laughs> it not be the actual project, it's just the communication part. Eh, hey, poor defensive, lack of communication, lack of communication, lack of communication. That's where um, she doesn't get the direction I want us to go and she wants it more like a CEO driven design, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this be what I want to so do. <laughs> So I think that was the challenging part, getting to um, be on the same page with her on the project, yeah. Can you, can you share a funny or embarrassing design-related story? Embarrassing? Yeah. Embarrassing, embarrassing. I think, it, okay, I don't know if it goes, it qualifies to be an embarrassing moment. I think when I applied for <laughs> A rule and uh, it was this upwork. It wasn't a rule set. Upwork. I mean, there is more yeah. upwork. So this Indian guy we reach out say, oh, he <laughs> wants some work. 
So I think I was really excited about it. And the fact that that was my, I think my first gig I bagged over there, right? So I did this, Charlie. I do some wild, wild stuff, <laughs> only for them to ghost me. <laughs> so <laughs> I did a keep, then I actually would then brown me, like then really scam me. Oh, if you came the yeah. street, uh -huh. open, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Because we could feel not catch your mama, because mama be catch yourself, okay, okay, okay. You get so I think that was But take the work. The work it takes up to because I said I send the foul. <laughs> and I think that's one thing that also taught me that like Charlie, no matter what, if I don't get my money, I don't go, I don't go share. Yeah. You get so yeah. I'm, I'm that like, okay, it's fine. It's continue. But it's not that they've made this thing. Yeah, because they're supposed to like hold your money. In. Okay. What advice would you give to someone who's just starting out in the field of design? <laughs> Takashi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so, I read. I read, I read it. So, <laughs> Charlie, um, I mean, when when you look at the design industry, people think. You know, then they see the success side, right? But the struggle side, really, nobody, they paint them like that. So getting to um, be at the top, you have to really learn your fundamentals. Like, Charlie, do the work, because nobody will do give you. There is no shortcut to it. If you, you see people selling courses, be a product designer in two weeks, it'd be like, it's <laughs> possible like, business, but we have been learned to this. <laughs> yes, I made one million dollars in one video. <laughs> we are going to be scam. So yeah, I mean, you have to work hard. That's that's yeah. it. Okay, so if you had the chance to have dinner with any designer, living or dead, who will it be? Chris Do. Chris Do. I think I I like the business part of the design. Right? Normally we don't focus on that. And the fact that he's doing that, I think, uh, really, because the guy ain't thinking be some way. I don't take so, I don't take madness. I don't take far. I don't take so far, man. Like, he be really some way. So, yeah, he's there. He's there. One probably I'll have it in our. So, um, what's one design trend that you love, right? And what's another design trend that you hate? I think I like the the creative side of things. You know now, especially for web design, right? It's where you don't see the usual web style, like the template sort right. of, right? Now you realize people are experimenting with, you have like magazines kind of inspiration sort of design, right? And one thing I hate, <laughs> the trend, this, this is it? Skeformism or whatever. Skeform. 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 So I think that one and um, this trend on Twitter, I think Mike mentioned the the whole stealing thing. Stealing thing. So what's in, uh, like, I know the bomb. I know the bomb. Because everyone has like an issue with your design nowadays when you do something. When they see something that looks similar to a particular web web design, they're like, nah, you copy them. But there's nothing new. We already bust in a, in a way. Yeah. How do you stay motivated and inspired as a designer? L'argent. Simple. <laughs> hey, simple. Nah, it'd be the money for like at, at the end of the day, if I'm not getting paid for i mean i love doing it i'm not saying i don't love yeah. doing it i love doing it but at the end of the day to the kudi day here so i think that's one thing that like kind of pushes me so if you weren't um, a designer what other career path would you choose if i'm not a designer obviously by this time i did hold mic they rap hey so <laughs> <don't you> <laughs> cast. <laughs> School oh. is not here any day. <laughs> now, <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> that one will be before, right now. Right now, yeah, like, I, will, I, will, I think I'll do the music. I'll pursue the music. For the engineering, yeah, I, well, it's, it's not good here, like Ghana. Mm. You really know the work for here. I mean, you can, you, can, you can think of other companies that are paying well, but for the show that I was in, it be some way. Then you, you don't really have time to yourself to as well because you are working, I think, 12 hours every day, including weekends. So, Charlie, me, this this will be my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> why? Why? <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's one thing that your followers may be surprised to learn about you? Oh, maybe the music part, because no one knows I, I do, I do rap. No one. Knows. So they know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I think, I think so. Why you have? Oh you, no, no. Uh, I think that that's all we have for you, Mr. Einstein. Thank you. Are you being formal? Hey, tell me, you see, I just want to say, hey, join me. C'est fini. The most interesting design project. I think it will probably be like a government project I worked on a couple of years ago. I mean, you can use it like. You can't tell me what to do. What advice would you give to someone starting out in design? Like a very wise man once said. Who is a wise man? Or give no? up. Give up. Eh? Give up. Hello, my name is Samuel Aluti. Um, I'm a product designer. I'm part of the Design Junkies.